Good morning, everybody. We're just south of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, in a town called Grasswoods, I believe. It's a little SO truck stop here. This is where we spent the night. pick up what I'm told is a 40-foot culvert right down the road from here and take it to Manitoba. I'll probably deliver it tomorrow morning. We'll see what time I can get into Manitoba. Maybe I can get it off tonight yet. We'll, we'll see. Right, let's get going. Not getting any closer. Let's stay on the road. We are cruising. We're 10 feet wide. Oh, we're meeting another wide guy. Okay, we're going to give him some room here. They're gonna unload me today yet. So that's awesome. I was expecting to get unloaded in the morning. So I'll be able to get unloaded tonight and then get a ways back towards home and probably be home in the morning, I'm thinking. Like early morning tomorrow. So it's all working out. This truck needs to get a safety by the end of this month. So I have it booked in couple of weeks towards the end of the month here uh, trucks we've got a lot going on a lot going on later this month it's gonna be a busy busy month for us uh, the truck is getting polished the trucks getting safety we have a doctor's appointment for Theo as two month checkup diesel is actually going in for a, a kind of a big procedure for an old guy he's getting uh, his teeth cleaned and hopefully none will need to be pulled but they're gonna look at that clean his mouth out uh, they've got to put him under for that and so before they can do that they've got to do I believe an EKG on him because he has a bit of a heart murmur and they have to make sure that his heart can handle the anesthetic so he's got that appointment coming up and then the big one where he gets his mouth cleaned gets uh, put into a nice nap for the day uh, Wiener our other dog our small dash and he's had it done twice already and now it's Diesel's turn his mouth smells like death it is so bad it'll smell up an entire room it's bad so uh, his mouth needs to be cleaned out so hopefully his heart can handle it and yeah, the doctor's going to make sure of that so, a little bit worried about that but a lot going on this month busy busy month quick little pit stop i'm at the petra pass in yorkton saskatchewan let's go check the load and show you the load too it's a very dusty, dusty parking lot. There it is. It's huge. Ten foot diameter. Like how much water do you need to move, right? So I've got the uh, flags zip tied on here with like reusable zip ties that I can loosen. I love those things. I use them so often. Gotta buy more of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven straps holding this thing in place. And that's it. So it's super light and the air goes flowing right through it. So I got no drag. It's practically like an empty trailer. It's wonderful. It's a beautiful load. I'm going to go get this off today yet. I think I told you that already, right?
just gonna say I'm catching up to this guy with this uh, car loaded on his trailer here right he has two two inch straps one on one rear tire and one on one front tire holding that thing on that trailer we're coming up to an accident scene now Ooh, it's kind of bad I was just gonna say this guy's gonna cause an accident now he found a found a different accident He's also got no trailer lights on his trailer. No brake lights, no tail lights, no signals. Let's see what happened here. Oh, off on the right there, there's a truck and a car. How did that happen? Oh, the poor W9. What did the car do to that poor W9? Yikes, what are they doing down there? Can't park there, bud. Oh, look at that, look at his skid marks all the way over here. Bet you someone pulled out in front of him and they couldn't stop. It's been quite the day. I got that uh, huge culvert unloaded. It was pretty quick. It was down a back road, way in farmland, way down a couple of gravel roads. I pulled it off there with this massive excavator. And now I'm on my way home. I don't have anything planned for tomorrow yet. I'm pretty sure I'll be home for a day or two now. Probably, probably a couple days and I'll find out the plan tomorrow I don't really like getting home too late I should be home before midnight but I've got to hurry good thing Brit and Theo don't go to bed too too early I mean well he's he's up throughout the night anyways right so she's up throughout the night and uh, she could probably use a break and <laughs> use some sleep. So if I get home tonight, then hopefully she can catch up on a little bit of sleep. We're just going past Portage La Prairie, the beautiful, beautiful metropolis. Portage La Prairie, the place everyone wants to be. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm a little. Uh, it's a it, it's a it's a nice town. Josh coming at you here and in typical trucker Josh fashion on his way home <laughs> he was a little excited I was excited to get home I forgot to close off the video and film the end of day when we got to the shop and everything so this is the end of day thanks for watching uh, we just picked up that big giant culvert delivered it to some like farm like down a gravel road and dropped it there they had like four other ones there I don't know where they're gonna put those or what they're gonna use those for but it's for moving water is what they said I don't know how much water they're planning on moving but a lot of it. It's got to get under the roadway, I guess. There's going to be no backups in that area. All the water will flow freely. Yeah, a little bit of overkill, maybe, but I don't. I don't know. What do I know, right? So yeah, I went home, had a had a great evening, and I forgot to say goodbye. So I'm sorry. So goodbye. Have a good one, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video.